Okay. So you think Ubisoft right. can make a better version of this game? Possibly. With the and, RG, and, RG. and with it being the fastest selling uh, new PS4 IP, I think they're probably looking at it finally like, all right, well, maybe we need, do need to do with Japan. Maybe. We've been saying I for feel years like they lost out, bro. I feel yeah, like it's too late for them. No one wants to play it now because that's what they literally, it, was, it wasn't anything about the Ubisoft thing. It was the fantasy. It was the fantasy of being an assassin ninja that we wanted to play. And Ubisoft kept blue balling us every year with all these other places, except for Egypt. Shout out to, shout out to my boy Bayek. That was fire. But every other place I did not want to go. I did not want to experience now if they drop one in japan like it has to look insanely good for me to want it because now i'm gonna be like i mean is it better than ghost of Yusuma? so we can get into the starting conversations ghost of tsushima it is actually revealed that it was the fastest selling new ip on the playstation 4 which i'm actually really surprised because we are at the at the end of the life cycle um we're going into the era of the PS5 and the Xbox Series X or new Xbox or whatever or doorstop, whatever you want to call it. Um, and Ghost of Tsushima, I, it somehow it's came on came out on top as a best selling new IP. Um, it's getting really good reviews from all the major outlets, but y'all know y'all don't care about their opinions. That's why y'all listen to this podcast. So ethos. I'm going to give you the floor. Give us the good. And which, by the way, before we get into it, this is not a full blown review because I don't think any of us have finished the game, correct? wrong okay you finished it i'm in the third act what are, where are you at jg i'm i think i just made it to the second okay so we're all over the place ethos finished it i'm in the third act and then jg's in the second we, we've all played it a good amount though uh but this is not a full-blown review just give us some uh some some initial impressions good bad and ugly give us your perspective uh ethos uh just just go through it all or just yeah first? whatever you want to talk about let, let the people know um, what's, what's on your heart Oh, shit. Uh, it's cool. Uh, you know, it's cool. Uh, I, I so I'm gonna try to do my best to avoid spoiling JG because I tend to do that. Um, this isn't this isn't The Last of Us. This game is actually fun, so it's easy to. I had a really hard time reviewing oh, The Last man. of Us. Come oh, on, man. Yeah, hold on. Let me tell, let me talk about shit. Hold on. No, no I come had on, a really man. Hard, no, let me hear me out. I had a really hard time reviewing The Last of Us on my solo podcast because like I realized the story is so heavily intertwined like in terms of gameplay mechanics there's almost nothing new there so you have to talk about the story so it was really hard to review that game that was actually one of the hardest reviews that I ever had to do I was just like I literally just came to the clues I was like listen just go watch if you don't care about spoilers go watch the GI channel we go into depth in the conversation because like in terms of gameplay they had tall grass and you can crawl now but other than that it was like jump. some new enemy types and the jump was trash but I was like it's pretty much the same thing it's just you're playing it for the story um but this game like this game was actually fun so you don't have to spoil anything i don't even know why you had to bring up the story well, at least in my opinion know. it was fun go ahead okay well um yeah so i'm because i don't want to spoil jg um I, I would say overall i think it's really good um surprisingly better than i was expecting it to be kind of thought it would be kind of kind of just one of those like um I'm trying to say a good comparison at first i thought it was going to be like a kind of like a mix in between in the middle of like review wise between like horizon and days gone like i thought it was gonna fit like right there uh personally i, I like it more than horizon a lot more than horizon but um mm. i i i have some issues with it i guess we can go into those issues a little bit like a couple like main issues but i think overall like for what it achieves it's a really solid game um i don't think it's like a masterpiece or like the best game ever but i think it's like one of those games you play and you'll be like you know what that was fun that was good that was fun i enjoyed myself it was like if i mean and this is kind of why i made the comparison but i feel like it, it's a very drastic uh departure from deal us dealing with last of us where um whether you like the game or not i feel like just getting through just playing that game just felt it just felt different than playing like ghost of Tsushima. ghost of Tsushima was like a good like palette cleaner because like compared to like when you had to play through like last of us so um I, I think it was a welcome change it was a nice surprise especially with like everything that's going on with the world right now and it's just it's it's just a fun game to play so i give it a fun out of 10. but specifically like going to specific because i feel like you, you have some things to get off your chest like what in specific really. do you feel like is <laughs> this guy all right well fuck you too go ahead JJ. I, mean, I, mean, like, I, I, like, I have negative but like i feel like i don't know i just feel like i, I just i don't know i just feel like uh, are the I, negative spoilers or what um I feel, like, like, we, I feel, I feel like, like we as people like... a lot of at least I noticed this with myself. I'm not saying you do this, but I noticed with myself when I do like something, 
like sometimes i don't articulate the best why i like it i'll just be like kind of like what you just did i'm like it's dope it's and it's not the greatest thing ever but it's dope but it's like when we don't like something we'll go really into depth about it and it's like you know just go a little bit more in depth what is specifically did, what made it good for you is what i'm saying sure so yeah I, it's weird because it's like one of those games again where it's just like it's, just, it's 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 solid it's good um so like that's why i don't go that far because i don't feel like it's necessary to explain it uh, i i feel like usually unless i'm about to give a game a nine or a very high scoring i feel like i don't need to explain why i feel like most people can just understand it but i'll say for this game the main reason is one is like uh the world the um the the, the island itself is probably like the most unique character of the entire game um, I really love how unique the island looks. It's very, it's a very nice uh, take of, um, you know, like uh, Japanese environments. Um, I really love that. I love the way that it handled the, the Japanese culture. I know it's not all fully accurate, but then again, you know, it'd be boring if everything was always accurate. So I don't mind the little um, things that they kind of took a little bit farther than normal than what you can expect in real life. But I still think it was really cool and together. I thought the story was really solid. It engaged me. I don't know why people thought that was such a hot take, but I found it very engaging. It made me want to keep playing the game and want to figure out what was the next step. Uh, I love to see the progression of the main character. I love how Jin became started. He has this internal fight of being a samurai and what those values uphold and what they mean towards like sacrificing those values to win basically it, I, I really like that parallel and like how he struggles internally and how everyone around him basically like kind of shows him different shades of gray of like how the world isn't just black and white you can't just be a person who's like always like full of honor and how stupid that can be sometimes of just being like stuck up in tradition um so i like i really think that there's more depth to the story than people give it credit for um and so i really enjoyed that uh the combat's pretty solid too there's issues wonky shit with the combat that i don't like um, and I'm pretty sure everyone also bring it up, like specifically the camera. I think that's the biggest complaint of it, of it all. Um, and like overall, I think it's really good. I just think one of my biggest cons is big is one is performance wise. Uh, I had a base PS4, but I did have a couple of pretty bad game frame rate issues where it was getting very irritating where I was losing boss fights. because Poverty. that's really bad. Yeah, I don't have a pro. I'm sorry. I don't want to waste money when the five's coming out. Um, so like that, that's like one of the things I just, I don't like, I, the frame rate is not 100% 30 FPS. I don't, I will not accept anyone telling me otherwise because it's not true. Um, and then um, the other thing that I have an issue with too is um, I kind of feel like the game uh, kind of gets a little bit too repetitive after a certain point. Like once you get through path of act two, you, you it kind of doesn't try to mix anything up. And it kind of disappointed me that at least in act three, you would have thought they could have done like a little something extra but all it really is just an environmental thing suffers but. from the same thing every open world game i actually agree yeah, with that like it does get a little repetitive by the end of act too like it's it didn't need to be it could be semi-open world it didn't need to be yeah. this big it didn't need to be this big i think the tales are really good like mix up for side content i think the tales is the best side content in the game with uh the uh i forgot their names but uh, lady masako i thought was really well done um the one with the uh archer i thought that one was pretty well done like their stories were pretty well done uh the duels with kensei that that little story i think that was very well done um some of the other ones like i kind of didn't i didn't really get into the the, the, the drinking guy like i was like yeah whatever and the the monk kind of like yeah, i was i liked his stuff kind of for the most part but i don't think it was as strong as lady masako that i think that's the best side content but once you move past that content and you look at what's left it's very generic basic like what you expect like fetch quests like go collect this go to this point just basically what you expect from like most open world games and that's where it's kind of like i know uh app uh abu asked me he was like this or witcher 3 and i was like i still take witcher 3 over it because still like witcher 3 had that extra care when it came to its side quests i don't feel like any of the side quests in this game can get close to what witcher 3 accomplished but you're so biased or, too so uh, i wouldn't expect you to even put ghost of Tsushima in the same category i wouldn't even yeah i, I like people because i because people will look at my twitter timeline and say like yeah i do like the, i really like the game it's probably one of my favorite games this year there's no doubt but like in the grander scheme of things it's like one of those games where it's like you play and you're just like that's cool but i wonder if by next year will i still remember this game and i kind of don't think i will I kind of just like it's one of those of the moment games where it's like and I think it's partly because of Last of Us I think that caught that made it more uh I think that's also kind of made it a little bit more engaging I think Last of Us has part of this to play uh, and then I think the other part is just simply like I'm making a samurai game there's no like there's no lie so I, uh, that just natural thing would make me naturally gravitate towards that this game so there you go. See, you can do it. You know. We we know he has it in him. He just didn't want to. We know, we know you can do it. We just get, it's, I think lazy. it's important. We give we give people their flowers if you like shit. 
Yeah, um, good. good job, guys. Good job, soccer coach. <laughs> uh, I, I would say I, I like this game. Like I knew I was gonna like it right from the rip with the opening scene when when the Mongols invade and like you're riding the horses. I was like, I literally paused the game. I was like, chat, this is what I'm talking about. I was like, you don't have to give me everything in the beginning, but just give me a little something like that. The story just started hot, and then after that, it slowed down. And like you, you started to build the world and the character and understand his background and his code and his samurai kind of like what you were saying with ethos. Uh, and like, it was funny. I actually agree with your take that you were saying on Twitter where you were saying it's funny how The Last of Us and Ghost of Tsushima essentially are the same. They're both like revenge stories. Uh, I don't like understand why, what, I, I don't know why I got so much hate for that. I, 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 I still no, I agree with you, but it's like one is engaging yeah. and one is not. I was like, I didn't even think of that. I was like, yo, he's right. Like, it's like the way they flush the characters out, the pacing of it. That's what I'm talking about. The game was paced correctly in the beginning. It just slowed down a little bit in the second act. I was like, this is exactly what I wanted to see. Um, I like the combat. Uh, I like how gruesome it is, cutting people's heads off and stuff. The skill tree is really dope. It's really, it's really deep. Um, I like the counter system. Uh, the only thing is that, yeah, the camera, uh, the camera is really, really fussed. Oh, and the parkour. I'm not going to lie. Um, the oh, parkour yeah. made me appreciate it. Assassin's Creed. Yeah, I it's not, it's not, like, it's not flat out terrible, but like I got some clips. I fell in the geometry of the world a hell of a handful of times. I got stuck in a lot of stuff. It was a lot of things like it, 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 it like there's there's only specific rocks you can climb on and it's like that's really weird to me when you when you come from assassin's creed so like this game will make you appreciate assassin's creed because the parkour is just not on par with it but um god damn it i lost my breath i'm sorry what's the name uh it, it does a good job of making you feel like I, I like the choice of giving you between the samurai and the ninja I'm, I'm playing more like a ninja but i like the idea that you have the the choice of playing oh, the two go that's ahead. a criticism i have actually oh go um, ahead I I kind of felt like from the marketing, and I could be wrong. This isn't me saying that they lied about it because I don't think they ever said this, but I hope they do this for a sequel. I wish, I I feel like this game, okay, so right now for me, I say this is like an 8.5 or 8.7 out of 10. That's the fair. Thing that the thing that would have got this to a nine for me is if they had taken the extra care that like, and it feels like the story, it feels to me that like the entire game and the story, and I feel like everyone else feels this too. It feels like there's this constant battle between being a samurai and a, and a, and a ninja basically because that's what he's basically creating. He's creating the ninja archetype that Japan just didn't know existed until I guess he's the he's like the Altair of this new order of ninjas, basically. I feel like that's what that's interesting going. you say that because yeah. like I agree that like I would give this if I had to score it like an eight, eight point five, but the reason I couldn't push it to a nine based off of what I played actually has a lot to do with the story and has more to do with the the technical aspects it's the camera yeah. and like i don't know if you noticed like the ai in this game is god awful yeah they're pretty um, bad like uh, no they make the sword the samurai killing sound so loud that you like you just naturally believe that someone would hear that but they don't it's, it's just, like, laughably bla yeah, bad like yeah, with really ubisoft bad. games like you could you could cheese the ai but that's what it was like you could funnel them into corners and then kill them that way but they would still look for you and hear like certain things in this game you'll yeah. literally be right next to somebody you'll cut his fucking head off yeah and, and like super and they don't, they don't yeah. even see it and i'm like hey yo like whoa like where is too is like jojo came into my room and he was like watching me play it and i literally did that like i just barrel roll i rolled in front of somebody and he did it he was like what and he was like oh must have been the way <laughs> like it was just like bro like how did you not but, see me I but just, a, yeah. a, another reason i would argue that it's really bad in it kind of ruins these experiences not only is it bad but it's inconsistent in the sense that yeah, like sometimes the ai is good sometimes it is going to catch you but then yeah. a lot of times it doesn't so it's like you don't know what you're going into every time you go into a camp it, it, it makes for an inconsistent experience and it can make it really annoying because one moment you think you can just run around and stab everybody without anybody seeing and the next thing you know the, the ai wants to act right so the, the, yeah. the inconsistency is what kind of annoyed me and that's why i couldn't push it to the top this like this is maybe dev me coming out but i feel like the thing that would have got this a nine like even like even if the technical issue still existed the thing that would for me would have just pushed it over for me would have been and this is what i was saying about the story and everything else the whole story seems to be is that Jin has this struggle of being a following his honor code of what his uncle tells him and being a samurai and the way that they're supposed to fight like you know you know basically like say it with your chest i'm gonna show you where i am come kill me you know fight me one-on-one -on -one. and then the ninjas are completely opposite they don't care about honor it's about the most efficient way of like winning the battle um i feel like if the story had been more dynamic and had adjusted itself based off of the actions you do based on the game i feel like it would have been 10 times more fire like if characters does it started not do that because no, my, that, 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 that no, my, cause my cool. chat was telling me there's two different it's endings and they're telling me I'm getting the bad is, ending. I haven't finished no, 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 it, no. but apparently I'm getting the bad ending from what there they've is, seen. 
there is, but you get the choice no matter what you do. And that's the thing. It's like, it would have been cool if at the end it compiles like how many, because they, because at the beginning, of, you know how they hinted, which I thought was genius. I thought it was brilliant. There's certain cutscenes that don't play until you do certain ghost actions that like kind of like your uncle. Oh yeah, like, when he has the flashbacks. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Those are and pretty like, cool. That, I was like, that's cool. That's dope. Now let's see if you'll capitalize on that. But the game doesn't do that. Like you can completely go straight off ninja, right? And like, it doesn't change anything at all. Like not even like how people react to you. Cause it's this weird thing where like everyone's talking about the ghost, the ghost, but what if you decide, right? Even when like you get this, uh, this, um, reputation as the quote unquote ghost. You play like a samurai throughout the rest of the game. You don't even use any of the ghost function mechanics. You just stay as a samurai. You're not technically doing the ninja thing, right? But the game still like, it has this weird like uh, writing error where like it makes it seem like you're doing ghost actions, even if like you're playing the game and you're just playing like a complete- It's a Mass game. Effect 3 again. That, not Mass Effect 3, I just feel like it's a it's one of those things, you know, when we talk about like the details, the small little details that matter about games that make mm. them like nine out of tens, that's what's missing from Ghost. It's like, there's a lot of polished, little polished things and little small details that are missing that if they had added them, it would have bumped it to me for a nine. It would have been like one of those things like, okay, now it's doing something more, but it just it just misses the mark just just barely. And I feel like if they had I did that, it would have definitely been like a really strong, like one of my favorite games that would have I would have never forgot about if that. Yeah, like I don't think Sucker Punch has made anything like this ambitious, and that's why I give him like a little bit of leeway. Let's see yeah. what happens with like a sequel. Like what do they do um, for a sequel? Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, I, I'm not gonna go too hard on them because I feel like this is their most ambitious project yet. Like the game is fucking gorgeous. Like you motherfuckers have been taking pictures nonstop, posting them on yeah, Twitter I, and stuff, and like. You- yeah, you don't really see that too often. We've, we've been talking too much. Jay, what, what you got to say? Yeah, you all went into a lot. I want to say first that uh, anything Ito says does not matter because he's bad at games. So, <laughs> no, right, stop, stop. so yeah. They don't so know it, the context of So that. literally <laughs> anything that we say, bro, it doesn't matter. Because if you're bad at games, then your opinion doesn't matter. How's um, my $5 tier? I don't understand. <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> um, so, understand. so yeah, you literally got to the last thing that, like, um, that I wanted to talk about. Like, aesthetically, this game is... It's probably one of like the best games I've seen in a while. It's crazy how like even though these games are not on PC, like these games, like some of some of these, you know, the ways that some of these developers can like make some of these games on the PS4 using that limited hardware, it's pretty amazing. So I'll give Sucker Punch that. Like, um, I think get you every excited, single- Loki, for the PS5 and the new Xbox. Yeah, I think that every single GI member, excluding Black and A9, because I don't know if A9 played it because he didn't say anything, but every single GI member has played in a stream. And that's rare because y'all niggas don't like single player games. It's only a certain amount of people in GI that like single player games and actually play them. But every single GI member played it. I was like, yo, what's going on? Because I didn't know that y'all were into, you know, Feudal Japan like I was. Because, again, if you've been paying attention to anybody like Feudal, Feudal Japan is my shit, bro. Go ahead. Go ahead. I'm just saying, I'm just saying anything, anything Feudal Japan, I'll be with it, bro. I'm, I'm with the shit. So I was like, yo, the fact that y'all like this, I was like, all right, something's up. But Jeez, it's you that, know better than that, bro. But it's, I'm like, yes, I, I know you eat those. But I'm saying like everybody else, like outside of yeah. everybody else. Because because no he's like 50, he made me 50 50 yeah yeah, yeah so no i was like yeah. i was like yo is this game like really like the is this game of the year contender because they didn't even get the same energy with the last of us like of course it was more people that played it but like i was very very surprised like even siggy played even flock played it yeah flock flock, played flock, flock he said he loved it in my award. chat he said he loved it low-key yeah i'm like yo what is going on is this opposite day like okay the niggas who don't play single player games who say that i can't stream but play it i was like all right bro so i like so something's funny so i was i, I found that very interesting i think but, it's because um, everybody deep down wants to be like a samurai and a ninja it kind of taps into your inner childhood and this game does a good job of no. It's just, it's just a nice genre. It's a nice period. I exactly. love it. Exactly. Nobody wants to be a fucking pirate. Sorry. I really want to be ninja. Everyone, right. wants to be Everyone wants to be a samurai or ninja. Period. I don't want to be a pirate, bro. I want to be a samurai or a ninja. That's all it. Anyway. Right, right. So it's so that's pretty crazy. So um, but yeah, going back to the aesthetics, like everybody's taking pictures everybody's looking around the world everybody's looking for the best gear like everybody's trying to get the best drip so like even like if you take everything out all the technical aspects of story and everything else like obviously people have some sort of sentiment some sort of attachment with the aesthetics of this game i feel like that's one of the things that sucker punch uh sucker punch literally blew out the water so i commend them for that i I definitely commend them for that because if it's something that's not even supposed to be a main feature of the game ends up being so appeasing to everybody 
everybody, then that means that you did something right. So I, I give them down the aesthetics. Um, I agree with you all on on the majority of things that you all said. Um, as far as like the cons, at least uh, the camera is definitely terrible. Um, it definitely gets repetitive, and again, that's that's really the thing that we have with a lot of open world games. I know that uh, TBH and myself have said multiple times that we typically don't want to play like thirty hour plus games, but somehow, some way, games like Assassin's Creed and this game end up you know sucking us in it. And they were like, you know, even though there are a lot of repetitive moments, it's still very fun to play like you want to do the side missions you want to go to the camps uh you know you want to explore the world and see what else is out there and i feel like from me playing and just getting to act two like because the reason why i'm only in act two is because i went around and did everything else like i'm sitting there looking for you know the uh the dye people i found the uh the white dye dealer um the last time that i played yeah like that's cool like all that stuff is cool and so i like that aspect and i do agree that um that the tales missions are the best things and and those did draw me in more than the main story um of course it, it's going to end up getting repetitive and i already know what it's like going around in the camps and stuff but yeah. still just to level up your character and be an absolute badass like that's fun to do it's fun to level up and then you know get all uh, get all the skills and whatever and then you end up just you know being able to do whatever you want so i do enjoy those aspects a lot um and i see myself after beating it unless like something crazy happens at the very end um regarding the story that it's probably going to be at the top uh from one of my uh one of my games of the year until of course you know cyberpunk if it comes out uh this year we'll, we'll see what happens oh, then. Oh my we'll, God. yeah we'll see we'll see what happens it's then. definitely in that we'll star citizen up. bracket oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> but overall overall i am thoroughly enjoying myself with this game and if it wasn't for other games because it's low key man like because you know the summer is really really dead for games but the fact that this yeah. game came out it's a triple a game it came out at the best time during the summer and then there's a whole bunch of other little games that scattered around too like it's hard for me to like put my full focus into it because i want to play so much stuff but i want to play ghost of Tsushima as well i want to beat it so it's, it's kind of hard we have so much stuff to play and then on top of that hyperscape we're doing that tournament and stuff like it's just so many that game about. sucks that game's dead <laughs> that i'm just trying to <laughs> you know, trying to joke and then of course, of course i don't have this much oh, time that twitch. Is, i think that game's so. dead it doesn't we're not talking about that i don't care about your opinion on it, but <laughs> we're trying to win this money i don't give a fuck about nothing <laughs> Dead game. but but in any case in any case i i like it i definitely enjoy ghost of Shima, and i see that a lot of other people are enjoying it as well even if they don't necessarily enjoy like the story per se or the technical aspects i think that just for the visuals alone it it really resonates with a lot of people so, so like i said I, I think that that's that's one thing that you know uh low-key they really hit out the water and, and did a really good job one thing so. that i like to throw in there extra that i don't think any of us brought up uh as a unique feature maybe i'm wrong i don't think i've seen this in another game but in this game you get to do haikus and like low-key that shit's kind of fire it's this thing could be dropping bars bro. Bar, yeah, rapping, bro. <laughs> yeah you get the there's there's, there's, there's side quests all throughout the map where you literally get the right poetry in that game and that shit low-key kind of hard bro it's a like, really yeah. peaceful game though right. like like dead ass like if you just sit there and just look around it's a really peaceful environment even though there's war going on war, yeah. this man still finds time to do haikus and and reflect on shit when he's in the uh when he's in hot yeah. bed like what <laughs> there's um the, like this crazy I've, I've done is like even to go to your point jg like there's moments where like i literally have left the game run i'd go to like a very serene part of the game and i would just let my character stand there and i would literally let my ps4 just run and play that like just in my background like it, it's it's very um like a live a lot wallpaper of, like, yeah, like yeah, it's like a live Excellent. wallpaper. Like it's like a really cool. Like if I could record it and then put it on my computer as like a wallpaper, I'd do it. Like it's very serene. Um, like I can't tell you how many times. Like there's so many times I've gone in this game. Um, like the war, ra the ravaged parts are like yeah, it's really fucking bleak there. But my god, the parts that haven't been touched by the war at all on the island are like I can't tell you how many times I just stopped. I, I reached like the top of a, a mountain and I just stopped and I just looked out. I was like, oh my god, like this is just like. I'm trying to like I, this is where I was like literally of Witcher three like when I would reach those like really amazing parts of the map where I would just stop and I would just look around I'm just like holy like I can't believe this like I'm looking at this like this is like just incredibly beautiful and and so Ghost of Tsushima has so many of them like so many different diverse biomes that like just look like it's a, like, it's a case of what I, I think one of the things that we've been missing in this generation with a lot of games is even though this camera this game has camera issues and the parkour isn't the, be the best and the ai is a little wonky 
you can still tell this is a labor of love and it i think heart. that's what you're it trying to heart. explain yeah, yeah. you can tell they genuinely game. loved making this game and like all yeah. of its faults is because they probably just don't have specialties in their studio to work on those specific but things but over best. they, they yeah. did the best that they could do and you have to appreciate that because at the end of the day they're going to get better at it over time and i think that's what you're trying to say yeah, yeah. so shout, shout out to sucker points because like i wasn't expecting anything like this from them and I'm, I'm actually like very very pleased that they you know came up with something like this i wouldn't say it's a masterpiece but again like what you all mentioned like if they touched up a couple things for a sequel or something i think that they could do a really good job and this also makes me question uh ubisoft now because they beat them to the punch they, 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 <laughs> they literally beat them to the punch so it's like at this point i don't want to know with the viking game yeah would you yeah. want one would you even no, want no. Hold, on, hold, on, hold on 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 let's get something straight no, i like this no, game want, but the no. parkour system in this game doesn't even li- okay, hold okay. well mine is the parkour okay. Stop. 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 Is if, if, even the even with the dumbass ai in this game if the parkour was fire i would be like this is assassin's creed japan but the parkour is so bad yeah i still yeah i still want the assassin's creed Japan. This Assassin's ain't it yet. Yeah. This is so for those. I'm, in my opinion, this is not Assassin's Creed Japan. It's close, okay. but not there yet. Okay. okay. So you think we right. to make a better version of this game? Possibly. With the and, RG, and, RG. and with it being the fastest selling uh new PS4 IP, I think they're probably looking at it finally like, all right, well maybe we need, do need to do with Japan. Maybe we've been saying I for feel years like they lost out, bro. I feel yeah, like it's too late for them. No one wants to play it now because that's what they literally. It was. It wasn't anything about the Ubisoft thing. It was the fantasy. It was the fantasy of being an assassin ninja that we wanted to play. And Ubisoft kept blue balling us every year with all these other places except for Egypt. Shout out to shout out to my boy Bayek. That was fire. But every other place, I did not want to go. I did not want to experience. Now, if they drop one in Japan, like it has to look insanely good for me to want it. Because now I'm gonna be like, I mean, is it better than Ghost of Tsushima? And if I'm looking at it and I gotta deal with the RPG stuff, the leveling, like that sort of thing. If Man, I'm gonna deal with you like, Negroes, this. if this was a live stream, I would be like, yo, chat, clip this shit so we can throw this in their face later. Because <laughs> next year, if they announce Assassin's Creed Japan, you motherfuckers are gonna pre-order. I don't want to no, hear I'm, it. No, 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 pre-order shit. First of all, no, no, <laughs> no, because I, I haven't, I haven't played Odyssey since I played like twenty. Like uh, two hours, four hours of it, and I dropped it. I said, This is boring. That's a um, shame. I, I'm not even excited to play uh, Vikings at all. I don't even think I'm even hyped to even want to play that game, especially after I what you blame. said. So I don't even want to play that then. And so, what if they drop Japan? Like, they have to drop Japan one day because they're going to realize, Oh, yeah, we've screwed up so much. We have to do Japan. At that point, it's like, unless the story is going to be so tied to the modern day, like it's going to be like a, a, a climax, I don't want it. I don't want a side quest <laughs> unless the story has to be good, bro. I'm I telling don't you, want it. I don't want it. I don't want it now. I'd rather, honestly, I'd rather wait two more years, let Sucker Punch take another jab at it and make a sequel and fix all those polish issues. I'd rather wait for that. Than I say, I'll, I'll say this much. I, I wouldn't, like I said, it's a little bit wonky, so I can't call this the Assassin's Creed Japan we wanted, but I will I, say the foundation is very strong, and there, if they make a Ghost there. of Tsushima 2, that would probably be it, because I'll, I'll, I'll say this much. In my opinion, Ghost of Tsushima is better than than what Assassin's Creed One Creed, was right, like, you one. remember? You remember Assassin's Creed One and the jump from two? That was a yeah. massive jump. Yeah. Like they don't have to make a massive jump from Ghost One to Two. Like it's just little things they got to fix. And then like it's like I could say that's it. Sucker Punch, if you're watching this, this is all you gotta do. I'm telling you, this is how you can just kill Ubisoft Assassin's Creed, right? This is how you all win. You <laughs> this is how you. This is how you win, baby. You hire, you steal their talent, you take some of the programmers who design <laughs> the Ubisoft from Ubisoft, and you bring them over to you, and you help them overhaul your parkour. So TBH will be happy with that. But the mm. number one thing you need to do, the number one thing you need to do, and I'm telling you, this will make you. You'll, you'll get Game of the Year. I promise you. Take the Nemesis system from Shadow of War and put it in your game. Mm, you do that. That would be that fire, would be fire. Yeah. yeah, that would be you fire. Get, you, got here. you got that shit on wrap. You make it where all the, the Shogun like, oh, pulling up for a rematch? <laughs> like, imagine, <laughs> imagine let's take a second. This won't be spoiling too much, but imagine if, like, the second game involves, like, going to Kyoto, to Tokyo, to going uh, basically there, to dealing with, like, like maybe, like, the sh- you're working with the Shogun or whatever it is, or you're, you're dealing with them. There's a little bit of choice and, and, and changes that happen in the storyline based on certain choices you make as the, 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 um, as, as Jin. Maybe you can make it where, like, it's kind of like Assassin's Creed where he builds, like, a brotherhood of ninjas and stuff. I'm telling you, and you add a nemesis system for the Mongols or for, like, the Japanese people that are trying to, like, hunt you down. You got a game of the year winner, hundred percent. All you gotta do, all you gotta do, is Steve. Listen, you gotta put a Siggy sound bite. See when they come yeah. back, if you if you hit them with a ninja tactic first and you kill them, <laughs> yes. and then they That's come back, they're gonna be like, "You gotta get them back." And there yeah. you go. 
and then yeah. and then, and then you go pull up for a round two there you go to make it yeah make it where like obviously you can't make it where like there's like magic where they come back from the dead but maybe some way they can escape it or maybe their boys will like protect their their general while they he escapes and yeah, then they run away and yeah over. right and then like i'm telling you number another here i'm giving you i'm giving you gems right now right now sucker punch if you add a mechanic where there's going to be a rival in the game like another ninja that's trying to kill you that's like well, pure, like a rival, kind of like how a uh, Kai Ling was. Uh, what was that nigga's name from Mass Effect Three? Uh, TBH Kai, was it Kai Ling? Oh, the, the, the third one. Yes. Yeah, I remember. I don't remember his name, yeah. but I know you're you talking about like yeah. that, an asshole like that who's constantly like berating you and making jokes about you and trying to kill you. You got game of the year. You got it, son. Mm. It's yours. It's yours. It's yours okay. to take. So mm. I believe it. Go for ideas, it. Bro. Go for ideas. It. Let's yeah. go, sucker punch. Make it. Make I'm like I'm scrolling through Twitter and GameSpot just posted PSA. You don't need the 100% Ghost of Tsushima. Why is this an article? Like, nah, I don't know. I'm <laughs> doing it right now. I'm close to my, my thing. I got like slow whatever. news day. Why is that an article? <laughs> yeah, they're hating, bro. Screw that. Uh, that I'm close to <laughs> but it's like, I was gonna say it. This this game reminds me of of when Spider Man came out. Same thing. The screenshots. Uh, just a really solid, solid PS4. It really was, yeah. Everybody would take a screenshot, yeah. Spider Man, it's, it's so really Spider-Man. solid, and you want to call yeah. it a game of the year, but it's just missing but something. You know it's missing just a little bit, like like yeah, even e- even more. though I enjoy this and I haven't finished it, I still wouldn't put this above Final Fantasy VII or Doom. But like, yeah. if we're being honest, even it's though I haven't close. finished it, I probably put it third this year yeah. already. It's close. It's, it's like close, it's an underdog. Yeah. If it got it, I would be happy for it. Like I'd be like, yeah, it was an underdog. Like. I feel like they put in so much work and so much detail and so much like um, study with the game and the setting that like if they got it, I would not. It's like one of those games. I would not be mad if they got it. But like it's kind of hard for me to argue. Like, like right now, what we've got so far with, I mean, I haven't finished Final Fantasy VII, but a lot of people love that. And like Doom Eternal, Doom Eternal is very strong. Bugging. You need to finish that game. Uh, I, I just, I just haven't had the time to. It's like what JG said. There's so many. I was gonna go and play it, but so many games have just boom, 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 come out that I just. You know, I'm a fucking to, Final Fantasy seven. I'm a wait. Final Fantasy hater. I was like thoroughly surprised. Like that's still my top game this year. Like I thoroughly enjoyed I, that I, game. I never. I didn't have any strong feelings for seven. And that's probably why I just haven't been. Oh, I didn't play the original. I didn't. I was coming into yeah. it completely new. But yeah, that, I, I, I feel like that's why you have that opinion. Mm. Yeah. I'm not. I'm not saying it's bad because it was definitely a good game. I enjoyed it's it. But that, I think, yeah. yeah that's. But I think that's why because you never played it. Yeah, and especially on top of that, it's a remake. So then people are gonna make the argument it's a remake. It doesn't deserve game of the year because it's not a new game. Well, so apparently, according to people in my chat, like they changed the story. Like the ending is completely different. Like it's it's, it's a, a re story. it's a reimagining, not a not a full blown yeah. remake. Yeah. So it is what it is. But shout out to Ghost of Tsushima. It's lit.